going to show you how to insert the SIM card and also double check your mobile settings on a Samsung Galaxy S22 or the S22 Plus. So very simple. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and take out the SIM tray, which is on the bottom left hand side. You can see that tray outline, the SIM tray right there and see that little hole on the left right there. So first thing is go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool. It comes right out of your box. Mine is right here. If you don't have that laying around, you can always use a different phone's uh, SIM ejection tool, or you can even use like a uh, thin paper clip or a uh, thin bobby pin. Even the back of a stud earring uh, that may work as well. Okay. So I have my SIM card here. I just took this out of my iPhone here, and now I'm going to put it in here. So first thing is let's go ahead and eject this uh, SIM tray here. So find the hole in the left side right there. Put the needle in the hole, and then we're going to press in and the lips going to come out just a little bit there and then from there I mean you can just go ahead and pry that out so we're going to pull this out and we're going to leave it just like this okay now you can only put this in one way so you really can't get it wrong but on the top right hand side I see like a little diagonal slit and the same with this sim card right here on the top right hand side there's a little diagonal slit so I'm going to put it in here just like this exactly how it looks let's pop that in there Make sure your little snap is in there nice and flush. And now I'm going to go ahead and slide this in slowly. This is my first time putting in this phone as well. Put it in there and let's wait one second and let's see if it finds it here. Oh, found it right away. T-Mobile is my carrier here in the United States. And you'll see my reception bars right there. So it looks like it's connected. So let's go ahead and look over the settings now. Now as soon as I log in my phone, I get this message here. So I'm going to go ahead, I have to go ahead and just uh, restart right here. Some of you guys may get this, may not. Okay, with T-Mobile, I think most of you guys are going to get this. So let me just go ahead and restart the phone first. All right, so we're booting back up. Okay, so now to the mobile settings. So first thing, just go to your uh, settings app. So you can slide up the middle screen like that and look for your settings app. Mine's right here. Let's tap on that. From here, it says connections. Let's go ahead and tap on connections. And then right down here, it says mobile networks. Let's tap on that. Okay, so for me, you can see that they turned on my data roaming by default some of you guys may not want that on some of you guys get charged over a certain point I have unlimited data roaming so I'm fine with having that always on if I look at my network mode here I can see it's automatically selected to the 5G LTE auto connect right there so everything looks good for me right there and I'm ready to rock and roll okay any questions or issues just comment below good luck